warm, pretty vanilla cashmere. Back to the streets like la da di da di da. Back to the streets, so clean when I pull up to the scene. Hey beauties, it's your favorite Caribbean cutie and today I am bringing you a perfume haul. I am so excited to film this video because your girl loves fragrances. I have been building my collection for a while just for this video because girl, when I tell you, I love, 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 love fragrances, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I do. Just before I start reviewing my perfume collection, I want to let you guys know that I used to work for Ulta. I started out as a prestige beauty advisor and then eventually moved into a beauty advisor slash fragrance champion. I was made the fragrance champion. I didn't even know that that was a thing, but they saw my interest in fragrances and just added that to my title. So I do have some type of credibility when it comes to reviewing perfumes. Also, before I start, there is a difference between EDT and EDP, meaning Eau de Toilette and Eau de Parfum. I am not French, so I pronounce it to the best that I can. The only difference between Eau de Toilettes and Eau de Parfums is the concentration level. So they both have alcohol in them, but toilettes are more so alcohol-based. Parfums are more oil-based. Also, toilets, you're looking at about a maybe six to eight hour window of lasting time opposed to a perfume, which has a higher oil concentration, may last you up to 12 to 16 hours. At the end of this video, I'll tell you how to get your toilets to last a bit longer. So let's get into this video. First and foremost, I am going to start out with my most favorite perfume which is the Versace Yellow Diamond. This one is my most complimented perfume. So this is actually a toilet. Depending on the brand, toilets will last just as long as a perfume in my opinion. Versace is very good with that. Their toilets to me last just as long as the perfumes. Right off the bat, I smell citrus and like woody musky. It's, it's very, this one gets me grown and sexy. Like, I wear this every single day, okay? Like, very grown, very sexy. Like, it gives what it's supposed to give. I am a ninja with the perfume, so I spray a whole lot. If you watch my vlogs when I go to work, you'll see how I spray. It does a great job at lasting, and I do highly, highly recommend. And this is also very fresh. To me, it falls in that fresh category, so you smell very nice and clean. It's not a heavy scent. Next is the Carolina Herrera, my next favorite. I absolutely love this bottle because it's just like, come on, who don't want this on their dressing table, okay? Like, if you don't, you're crazy. <laughs> like, are you a girl? <laughs> Let me stop. This, right off the bat, I smell pear. This also, to me, is a fresh fragrance. Um, is fresh but you could still you could still like wear it to me fresh you could wear it in the daytime fresh with a little bit of musk or woody you wear in the nighttime or both this you could wear both day and in the night the pair in this is what does it for me it just smells really good this smells like a grown lady like grown woman okay <laughs> So highly recommend this, love, love Carolina Herrera. And this one is the Good Girl Leger. I prefer the Leger, that's the one with the clear heel, opposed to the other, the original one that's solid blue all the way down. I prefer this one because it has more of a fresher, lighter smell. Next, this is my favorite as well. As a makeup artist for MAC, that's how I discovered this fragrance. And this one is Candy Yum Yum. So I also get a lot of compliments on this as well. So there is something very playful and youthful about this one, but not in an immature way. It's not giving juvenile. Like, you could be grown and still wear this and not look like what the hell she got on like it's giving body spray like it's not giving body spray at all like you could definitely tell it's a perfume i would say right off the top i smell the guava in this one 
and I like that. It smells like guava and like a mixture of fruits, but it's not like overly fruity. This one gives me young entrepreneur. Like, mm, I have my lash business, yes. Mm, like very, very young and flirty. Like it's giving flirty. Flirty in a young, classy way. Highly recommend definitely a fave next we are going to get into the chanel's i have mixed feelings about chanel perfumes and i might get some backlash about this because i see all those tiktok videos on people's favorite perfumes and to me chanel is always in the midst of that like and i wonder why and why do i have these let me tell you to me chanel is very much overhyped the thing about chanel is every female wants a chanel in their collection which is totally absolutely understandable like who doesn't want to see chanel on their dressing table i get it but these are a hard no like it's a hard no for me this straight up smell like your grandma like straight up i kid you not this smells like your granny now however your granny might be wealthy it's giving wealthy old lady, but I, I don't want to smell like a wealthy old lady just yet. So this is a no for me. This is Coco Mademoiselle. It's a hard no. I'm definitely giving this away. This is in the Coco Eau de Parfum. If I had to choose one of the two, I would probably choose this one, but it's still giving granny. So these are a no and they are going to be out of my collection. Sorry. But I would say that Chanel does have some perfumes that the younger generation can't get away with. So that leads me into the Chanel Chance collection. So this one is a eau de toilette. So it doesn't perform that well to be completely honest. But I love this one. Take three seconds, close your eyes and picture yourself on your most prettiest day this is what you're wearing this gives me pretty girl vibes like all the way like very pretty very classy very sophisticated young woman you could definitely be like in your early 30s and wear this you could be in your 20s you could wear this um i wouldn't recommend it for teens this is very very pretty very fresh but like i said this one doesn't perform as well you will definitely have to layer up on this one definitely recommend this chance collection there's different ones in the chance collection this one is in otanja next we are going to get into idol by lancome this one was a acquired scent for me so when i used to work at ulta i hated this scent i hated it with everything in me until i started selling it more and i noticed that it smells better on the skin than it does in the bottle once this perfume mixed with your natural body oil it smells amazing on everybody like across the board i've never smelled this smell bad on anybody this is a perfume and it lasts forever like it lasts all day long so i highly recommend i think this is definitely underrated i don't see much people talk about this but it is amazing i am not too fond of the bottle it's like i have to lean it up on my dresser because it doesn't stand like this it's one of the thinnest bottles i think this is the thinnest perfume bottle in history or something like that i researched long ago but who cares about how thin it is but the scent is good. I do like it. I do recommend it. To me, this is a bit overhyped. <laughs> uh, I guess I like more fresher scents. This one is definitely a warmer winter scent. Uh, I would not wear this in the daytime, and nor would I wear it in the summertime. It is it's very hard to describe, to be completely honest. It has coffee in it. I don't smell coffee I've, I've never smelled anything like this before and quite frankly i don't i don't think i'm too fond of this one actually um it's not a bad scent it's it smells good but it's definitely a warmer winter darker scent it gives dark it gives snowy cloudy winter scent period point blank 
performance good YSL performance is very good all across the board in my opinion this one is also YSL and this one is in the Mon Paris Couture this was also a acquired scent for me um, at first I was like what is that like why what what I've never seen it smell anything like this YSL it have some very interesting fragrances but this one it grew on me it grew on me eventually this one is a very fresh scent lasts all day as well on the skin right off the bat I smell grapefruit so I would definitely categorize it as um, a fresh fragrance however you can smell the musk in it so it gives it like you could wear it in the day and you could also wear it in the nighttime this one is a other perfume and lasts very well on the skin as well Moschino this one was one of my favorite until I discovered Versace Yellow Diamond. To me, they fall in the same category. I smell citrus right off the bat. I smell lemon. <laughs> it smells citrusy. I don't smell any musk like how I smell musk in the Versace Yellow Diamond. So this one I would say is a little bit fresher more so a daytime scent opposed to the Versace you could wear in the day and you could wear it in the night. This does not last long on the skin. You definitely need to layer this one. Very fresh, very clean, very pretty. I like it. I like the bottle too. <laughs> Just saying. I don't even know why because I'm not like a big teddy bear person or anything, but it's cute. Like it's different. Like, girl. But um, I do recommend it even though it doesn't last long. Um, this could be something you go to the store, you just spray real quick, and you still smell nice and pretty and classy. Definitely gives class. C Fiori by Giorgio Armani. This one gives me... It gives me boss lady, to be honest. Right off the bat, I smell vanilla. It's very warm. I would say you could wear this in the winter time and in the night time. If you want to wear it in the day, you could definitely do that as well. This is also a perfume. It does last pretty long on the skin. I do think this is another underrated one. I don't really see much of Giorgio Armani's scents. Some of his don't really last very long, but this one does last long on the skin. So Escada, don't see much people talk too much about this. To me, it is an overpriced body spray. Like, it's it smells like something you could get at Bath and Body Works. Um, however, I do like it. It's very cute for like in the Virgin Islands, whenever you go on vacation. Well, when you go on vacation, but don't be going out, out with this. You just wear this like to the pool or something. Like I would wear this like if I'm going to a friend house or I'm going to the store, this is what I will wear. Um, but I will definitely not be going on a date with this. It's just very fruity, very cutesy, you know, type of thing this one you would have to layer as well it doesn't last too long on the skin this one by philosophy this is a other toilet doesn't last as long as well unfortunately but it is a very warm pretty vanilla cashmere scent this is in the fresh cream warm cashmere very pretty this is something you could spray in your bed you could spray in your bedroom it smells very clean very pretty um I do get compliments when I wear this because it's just one of those scents that I think will never like go away or go out of style. Like everybody likes warm vanilla and cashmere. Love, love, love this one. Could definitely be used as an everyday scent. Last a perfume of my collection. This is in the Chanel number no. five. So out of all the old lady scents, this is the one that I will be keeping. This one smells, okay, so. 800 credit score period right off the bat 800 credit score period you have your life together nobody can just approach you any old kind of way when you wear this because baby girl it's giving sis got her life in order sis got her money in the bank <laughs> like it's giving grown woman it's giving she don't play about her ish so right off the bat, I smell like powder. It smells like powder with a little bit of warm. Maybe it's the sandalwood that I'm smelling that's warming it up a bit so it doesn't straight up smell like powder. It smells like powder and something. So this, I would say, you could wear in the day, you could wear in the night. But don't just spray this. Make sure you look the part to complement this fragrance. 
grown woman ish okay grown woman ish and this is in the toilet however it does perform like a perfume that brings me to the very end of my perfume haul i hope you guys enjoyed that i'll give you a quick tip what i have learned and based off of my research if you want a perfume or toilet to last longer on your skin whenever you get out of the shower lotion your skin oil your skin and spray your perfume on your nude body and then you put on your clothes and you spray it on your clothes as well so it'll not only be on your clothes but it'll be in your skin mixing with your body oils as well as on your clothes and of course you spray on your pulse point make sure that whatever you're lotioning or oiling your skin with if it's a scented lotion or a scented oil make sure that it is compatible with your perfume fragrance otherwise some scents mixing with other scents you're not going to be smelling very favorable and ain't nobody want that so just test it out whenever you're home alone or you know not going anywhere that does work it have worked for me help my scents last a lot longer and baby girl it's 2022 and we're cute and we're grown and we need to smell the part and we need to look the part okay so I had lots of fun filming this video. I hope you guys have just as much fun watching it. And I hope that I really did help you in trying to find and build your perfume collection. If you did enjoy, please like and subscribe and share this video to the girls, baby. Thank you guys.